Philippians chapter 3, I'm going to read from verse 1 to 10. And for those who cannot read in Samoan, you can um, quietly read through as I'm going to read this passage in the Samoan um, <laughs> version. O afionga alutatu wali. O usoe, o mene utoe, ia oto oli oli le li. Elese mea ua musuai ona tusiatu o ia lava mea ia te oto. Ha ole mea to te saonga le muai. Ia oto i uli. Ia oto i e fai ngā luenga le anga. Ia oto i e ua kata to meina. A wā ole au peri to meina i tā to oe au au nai le atua maleloto. Ma mita mita i a keriso i esu. A e le fa atua tua i la le tino. A ua ia te au foi le fa atua tuanga i la le tino. A wā a fai e manatu se tasi o i a te i a le fa atua tuanga i la le tino. E tele mea fa apea i a te a. Na peri to meina i le po valu. Ole a inga o Israelu, ole tu a inga o Peniamina, ole e peru o Sae Peru, o la le tu la fono o le farasei o au, o lo mae le ngana o fasa wai le kalesia, o la le ame o tonu foi, il le tu la fono. E le i matau le anga ina au, a e peitai, o mea uma sa au ngai a te au, ua ouma natua, ua ouma natu, ua le au ngai a mea ona o Kristo. O le nei foi e moni lava, o lo u, Manatu ua le au ngā mea u malava ona o le silisili esi o le poto i la keriso i esu lo ua li. Ona o ia ua o wha le au ngā ina mea uma, ma o manatu o ta ota lava ia mea. Ina ia o maua keriso, ia maua fo ia ua ia te ia. E le ia te au sa ua me o tonu na ele tu la fono, a e peitai na o lea o lo o i le whatu o tua ia keriso. O lea me o tonu lea mai le tua i le whatu o tua. Ina ia o i loa o ia, ma le mana o lona toe tu mai, ma ia whaatasi au i ona ti ngā, o na ua whaatu saina au, i a te au, i lona maliu. Whamanui mai le tua e tusa, o le whaitawina, o ana a fionga pa ia. O te fia talanoia te oe i se manatu whaapea, o le whofoa le tua, I le wha fita a uli o le wha atu la whononga. God's remedy for legalism. Legalism actually is a problem in the church. O le wha atu la whononga. E ma whaifo e ona wha pēsi si wha saa moa ka ulaka laka i ai. I le naulu tala. O le whofoa le atua. I le wha fita a uli o le mapo tapu a inga. A talu o le legalism ta atu te ma fau fau. I tangata tau si tu la whono, po whai a onga le tu la whono, po tai tai o le tapua inga whai utaia, o le angang, o e tele nga ta ua i la to le tuspa ia, especially valava i le tusi o kalatia, e tele nga ta ua o judaizers, po tangata ia e o mai, e akama whai e toe au mai le amo i tangata kerishano, ua umma o na whasa o le toina, mai le amo le polonga. Me ngā lai whā tonu ai e Paulo i le kāle sia i kālatia, whai mai i au tau tū mau le sa alotonga, ua umma na whālo sa alotoina ai au tau. Ai sia, le anga e ono ma whai, e whai ngō whie, e ono tupu le toi whā polonga ina au tau i le amo le polonga. E o i lava ua umma o na whā sa alotoina au tau. I le tātou i ai whai lal whāna o le tua, i le e kāle sia le tua, i a tātou mata ala ma mata i tū le lei, a ua e koe e mo ale aka, Ua koe e amo e tātou o le amo le polonga. Ua toe whaa tū la whono ina e tātou mea ua uma o na tū wai e le tū o le saolo tonga. Mea ngā le whai atu o le tātou usta inga o tū la whono ua whaia e i e su an our behalf. O le sala tātou le whaalong kāku la whono ua whaia fo i e i e su an our behalf. O nisi oa onga whaa by some of the foundational doctrines in Christian church that any Christian is supposed to have, supposed to understand. E ui lavanga u loa, male matau, male fefe, male popole, male atua tu vale, o le tele o keusiano, o lo fa penga pe alava ona pongi sa, ia oa onga fa vae ia. Alu mo ingi, alu le malama lama, loku tinga ina, faime le loku, 
malele iloa o le mangwi a malisa o lotonga wa umma o ngafasa o lotonga ikeri se etatu a yai fe pepo o le ngake ile fe sa o lotonga ngale fe me kala paulo wa wa ne manatu wa yai ka kole la isenge i'm paraphrasing kere lo po exact samon words le a wa ne manatu itato wa yai itato le sa o lotonga wa itato le sa le la isenge license to do whatever we want to do sin malole a paulo do not think like that a wa ne fa pena or sal kong o sal ko ga ko or sal tonga mai le amol polonga lo tula fono a le o se sal tonga e sal e pule o e la wang sala e fai ya o na toe fa pa ima fa mani no a tule me le o le si me e mai ta wina mai lo e o e ma sal ko ga tri la o tala le ma ta to o mo ke o siano o le o se ta si o vai vai nga fa le na tru o le tangata ke o siano o le le la pata ia ina be a sa ola fa sa mo o le le longo sa i o fa tuanga em fa ngo ko ta o fa sanga me se siku matala no i se fa o punga fa pe o ka ko ta to tele ano e yai le manatu ma ma o le le ke o le le manatu ma mafa o le le ana ana ina o polo inga po fa tuanga Fien ka ngaka o male le mo pe ai e mali e pe fe okin ma ka fanga o le alaku ala fe mai swim between flags alaku e alu pasi mai i fu ala fa ku langa mo lo sanga le mu o le ale me tupu ale ai o se mali e ke ka fe ai se a le le longo fa tu ina le o sikai le amana ia i lapata ina O le fa fika uli le i le kusine fa ika wea. O le fa fita uli tu nga ma maku ya oa oa onga se se. Oa oa onga e le tusa ai ma le tala le lei ya kariso. Le ministry a koa Paulo o le tauma fai e Paulo e fight e go against ya oa onga ne. Itangata wa tau wa Judaizus, itangata wa 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 pele ya ila tau le fa tu a tu anga yu taya matula fono ma wa le ma wa le a tu anga o le tau langa a tu a tu a lava matutoe na faya kerisu mo itato. O se anga sala ingo se ya le tu a. Paulo le mea matter of fact, Paulo le mea fa mai Paulo ya kalatia e pa u e ko ulu e se ya tau male alofu tu no. In other words, Paulo le mea e a ve se ina yo to malifalo tanga olea ona uo to manatu e koke fai sa fanga when you think that you have contribution to your salvation you have contribution to your freedom from the law you have contribution your salvation you're being saved from hell and eternal destruction e ita e ingo ingo le tua ile kanga ka fa pengalo nta to nunga malo na to se o nga fa nga o ma yele fa fi ami o ton o nga fa nga o ma yele o tu silima o nga fa nga o ma yai lo mapo ta po inga inga o le a vea o e ma recipients ma ta unu unga o le lo fa tu no le tu o ka kola ke shano we are no longer under the old covenant which is the covenant of the law a mekala ale tua o le fe ngai ngale au ma israel the first thing you need christian you need to understand you're not an israelite then therefore you were not the recipient of the law you the recipient of the grace ele o o se o se sala elu ele ava ko school a fongo ya oi na ave ya mose mole o israel ele ave ya mose mo kerishano and the bible in the old testament and the law is still in the bible our divine word of god for our encouragement for our guidance but you need to understand the application that's why you need to know the bible in its context then you know what to eat and what not to eat a law you know what to chew and what to just swallow <laughs> E loa yo ele me ka nga lamu ma le me ka nga nga le folo la va ele ma o misela mu ke o kia lo lo la you need to know the bible in its context ke le la ka mi o ke nga ai nga o ele mu a o me ele o nga lamu ke le va ke mi e la o o o nga o folo o e me ele ka nga folo sa mo o mia le tai ches ma lamu le lei la le nga kala ya o o nga wa e va wa ko ya mai ele ambo ya mo o e sa le ka nga mo asia ele lo e o ele sa wa mo 
How many times you enslave yourself unnecessarily because you miss the context? You do not understand. The very next you, you thing you're going to do is to point your finger and to judge your brother that not doing what you're doing. If I know you're a man, you become so judgmental. You become so judgmental. Your measure, your, your righteousness and your holiness. If you are righteousness, you are holy, unless you are also a tongue. Or the other thing is that you are a law of the Lapataina. One thing is to know the Lapataina, the other thing is to apply the Lapataina. Imagine if you are a law of the Lapataina. Imagine if I pick a law, what is 60 and what is 90. You will drive 90 kilometers an hour in the 60 zone. Why? There's a possibility you can, you can do that when you don't know the difference between 90 and 60. And my five on a law the difference, and still you not give heed to. You're not, you're not care. You live in ignorance of the law. There's something that we need to do. When danger, the freedom, Listen to this. A fayele perto me in auto, pay ole tu a mose, ele ma fay on a faula in auto. Rubbish. This is exactly, this is the spirit now hindering the work of the gospel in the church today. Believe it or not, so many, even known preachers of the Bible, now fall back to this spirit of legalism. You cannot tell the lies from the truth if you don't know the truth. And that's a dangerous when you regard the lies as the truth. Why? Because when the true truth comes, you're going to consider the truth as lies. So the only way, the only power that you have to distinguish the lies from the truth is to really master the truth. You need to familiarize yourself with the truth. The same thing applied to Jesus here. Alleluia, so it's vital for you to have the proper knowledge, sound understanding, sound doctrine. That phrase, sound doctrine, paraphrase, Instead of my own autonomous self, I may or mata up we all like. I say, because if the doctrine is not sound, there's no life. Ale saura onga ele eseola. If I say inga oe, a keoki, a kepolonga unnecessarily, all a malofa pair, a kealu lelangi, a ala eseoli. Who are you going to blame? Melanga, this truth, there's no substitute of teaching and the preaching of the truth in the church of God. Matter of fact, one of the signs, main signs, the teaching and the learning of the word of God. And I will never get tired of telling you this. 
You know, I'm not Superman or, or uh, immutable, <laughs> but you know, I told you, one of the things I can never get tired of is this, to teach you and to preach to you. And it's a privilege to do that, to serve your soul, your spirit <laughs> in the church of God. Let's say, if I try now, I'm going to be able to keep it up. I'm going to be able to keep it up. I'm going to be able to keep it up. I'm going to be able to keep it up. I'm going to be able to keep it up. I'm going to be able to keep it up. I'm going to be able to keep it up. I'm going to be able to keep it up. The dangers of ignorance. I'm going to be able to keep it up. I'm going to be able to keep it up. Ile kaming ay lolo tole tua, ole fa fika au lolo yai, ole ole lapata inga keleo yai, wa filongia le upu ale tua, wa yai le skala le yai le skala le yai Paulo, wa yai le skala le yai le skala le yai Yesu, ole fa no no ang sili, ole oingu ma ay ngale follow follow follow, ngale raku lok fa long follow fa long follow, ay sela o mga follow, ole ale fua ay lo ay sela o mga follow. E fua mai lo o langa. E fua mai lo o nanga. E fua mai lo tauta langa. E fua mai au wanga maau me fai. E lo ai pe sao pe se se le kala lei ngai awa oi oi. A yei fui kei me sao lavar kala lei. A wo e le fa alongo. Wo e le yang. Wo e le ai ma e le ingu ai. E se se ai au me fai. Wa o nga fa apea. We're not, the church should not be silent. And we're not going to be silent about this. People will call us narrow-minded, shallow-minded, all sorts of, of minded. We'll be called stubborn. We'll be called judgmental and arrogant. We'll be called this and that. Who cares what, how, what they call us and how they call us? We, we don't care what the people, what the church, or what the world call us. What we care is we are the keeper of the truth. We are the keeper of the gospel. If we're not going to do that, who's going to do that? Ole makafa yoinga le karesia. Ole a, ole puti puti, makaushi le tala leia le tua. I say, ah, le anga e faalango lango, e le faalo tanga, o mga faalo, e le e se faalo tanga. No new birth, no born again outside the preaching and the teaching of the true gospel of Christ. False gospel, false salvation. False Christ, false born again, false new birth. Only the true gospel, only the true Christ will bring about the true salvation. So the truth is, first of all, are you telling us that there are people that think they are saved, but because they are recipients of false gospel, they are not saved? Exactly what I'm saying. Lifting their hands, worshiping, so-called worshiping God every Sunday, do every service a, a, a Christian church can do. But if they have the wrong gospel, sorry to, to say, you don't have the right to end up in God's heaven. Doesn't matter how much we feel sorry. Doesn't matter how much it, it doesn't make sense in our in our mind. But the truth is, only the true gospel can truly save lives. <coughs> or even people will just say, "Why well, don't just preach the gospel? Don't say names. Don't tell that." You know who told you that? You know who whispered that in your ear to say if that's what you say, Satan. <laughs> That's what the devil tells us. We're scared that we may offend people. <laughs> Excuse me. But who, who do you offend when you don't do this? You offend God. And all our lives, we've been offending God. Every time you close your mouth, you close your mouth when you're supposed to speak, to tell people about Christ, you're offending God. 
Mais on a fait mes calais et tout à Ayesu, au lait, ma caucao, au lumotanata, au kema, foy, kawi, et lumotama. No name that Jesus, that Jesus mentioned before God will miss heaven. <laughs> and no name that Jesus never mentioned before his father will end up in heaven. You'll never miss hell if Jesus never mentioned your name. And Jesus says, I ma, <laughs> okay, ma, for. For me, Apollo ya Timoteo, Second Timothy two sixteen and seventeen. For me, a ia e tau ma mau ma upuleanga. Those upuleanga not necessarily swearing, swear words or bad words. It's talking about teachings. It's talking about tales. It's talking about um. And those legendary story of the past, traditional story of the past, that has nothing to do with salvation and the gospel of God. Contrast with the true gospel. You know what? People never fear God. No, why people never honor, honor or respect or honor God's word. You know why? Because they don't know God. They don't know the word of God. You don't know that hell you scared to end up in will be your destination if you still live without God. No respect, no honor, no inclination towards its word. <laughs> This lato is referred to these false teachers. The dangerous thing about these false teachers, they never come, stand behind the pulpit and say, okay, for your knowledge, I'm a false teacher. They don't do that. They can't present the lies as it is truth. And yet, as Christians, we can't present the truth as it is lies. Hell, the way we live our lives, the, the, the time, the amount of time we spend in the teaching and the learning of the Word of God. What is that tells us? No regards of the Word of God. And when you don't have the regards of the Word of God, that tells us your regards of God. He mentioned names. Stop scared to mention names. <laughs> Tell people, you know, Pascal Kavika is a false teacher. Why? Warn them so that we will not go to Kavika's church. How can, how can you sit there enjoying the gospel while someone that you love going to a church that will end in hell? If you think you're going to heaven and you know someone that's going to church that teach not the truth, you the most selfish, stupid, ignorant Christian ever live. Because think of that. Let him ang ayo le langi ya oye ay ay alu lo kufinge po lo ko luo ise yon. We're responsible. We're responsible for the knowledge, for the truth that we have. If it's necessary to say to mention names, say names. Mention the names. Warn the people. Just preachers say this, these words. You know, one of the great preachers in like 1915 or 16, he said these words. You know, church, comes a time there will be no more shepherd feeding the sheep, but clowns feeding the goats. You know what? That time he say it comes, it's now here. <laughs> I say, Lang for my moe fear, I le upu ale leo leo ma moe. If I long ole leo 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 ma moe, I song eh, le colangonga, we killing a le colangonga, le leo 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 ma moe, not a lela ve fua calesia, la fama on. 
But there are gatherings that there's no shepherd anymore. It's just clowns entertaining the goats. Because no more shepherd, no more word of God, and no more sheep. <laughs> so if comes a time that we're going to mention names, yeah, apologize in advance. Though, though you don't need an apology. Memo <laughs> mua. I want you to see that. Memo mua. Memo mia le fa along opea. Don't fuck good. Let's see a song. Kimi ngao e fiki. Mangesu mangesu mangala. As koi inga fiki ngao loe voi. Some fiction men they have humors really great ones. My. So I was thinking, or vibe, or schoolini, but what? I mean, just keep on scratching. <laughs> it's kind of like that here. You know the remedy, ole mele ole, ole kaule la vafa along, ole ko anga fa along. E alanga ele la vafa along because you don't really know me anga ke fa along oi. But when you know, a ei loa le suama li o le tala le leia a le tua e ke fie fa along pea ma fie fa along pea. But listen to God's reason. Le mafu a angal tanga tala le tua fa mai o usoi verse one. Mai o usoi o me ane. I read it in English and more clear. Mai finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things again is no trouble to me. And it is a safe guard for you. Or koi kushia ko me wo umang ko ulo. Or koi fo yaku i mea wo umang of ek mo muai. It's not my problem. If I paraphrase, it's like it's more like Paul saying, you know, to tell you the same thing and the same thing and the same thing again. It's my pleasure. It's not. It's not a problem to me. It's like a food for my soul. It's it's something that I cannot wait to do. What tell you the same thing. Why? Because there's no two gospel, only one gospel, only one Jesus. And Paul was not sick of telling the same gospel, preaching the same Jesus. Why? Because it is the safe card. Ole me saung ale muai. But of fact, one of the of the deceptive thing in your life is your is your memory, your mind. You think you know. You're walking around, you think you know salvation. What is justification? Can you tell me? And you don't know. So don't fall into that trap. Repetition is the mother of learning. Do not be tired of listening the same truth, same truth, same truth again and again and again. Ole meu kele musuai poke vai vai e le anga foyo ingai falang o lang o elito saunga le mu church exactly the same thing with us. Uma o faku ya oi being a church, being a spiritual thing, being a spiritual being, us, our safest place spiritually is the word of God in the word of God. Paulo vale o meu que mal pui pui ai ele o ngi olo ele o se fale o amea. Eleo se ami, ma nuclear weapons, e kele e malu inga amea. Paula me ke malu wai, spiritually, is the truth of the word of God. Me nga, e ama ye pele tu ala malos, e awa oe lana fi hongpa ii. Me nga, e ama ye pele tu ala nga upu ila osa, ma ila osa, e fa fanga ila nga la fuma amoy. Ay se ya, ia sa honga le e mu. Speak of the shepherd and the sheep, this is one of the facts that you need to consider. The security of the ship. Ole saunga le muo ma moe. E aona taita inga ile si ufofonga ole le ole ma moe. O Yesu Gerisu. You know, sometimes I wonder why amele ka use la fupovi. Pe ka use la fupua. Ye puse la fumoa. Ay ka uwa la fuma moe. Again, a dependent. Let's post now. I remember someone posted, and I reposted on my, my Facebook page. 
That's the picture of you being a Christian. Because you're a shepherd, you're sheep, and you need to hear the voice of the sheep. You need to hear so you can have that fear. If you fear, you if I long sala. O tato ke shano. We are sinners, forgiven sinners. We are scared to sin. Sadly, we always sin. E mo mi an falong pea, man falong pea. The other truth about this word, le fa kong wing ai tato i, o le fa to nunga, mai o soe. O mene what toy i au to oli oli leli. If it is a command, there is a requirement of obedience, and the reason why there is it is being commanded is because we can do it. Kau mahu kau siang awal leh si oli oli. Eke fa sia sia, eke fa vai vai. Kau ngafah sa moa le le analogy le le kalau sa movement long face, ia eke <laughs> Why? Because you're supposed to, to be joyful. It's, it is a command. And <laughs> Paul attached the other phrase here. <laughs> Not rejoice in your wife or child. Or your job, not rejoice in your gift, but rejoice in the Lord. You know why it, it, that, that is so specific? Because only in Jesus we will find this true joy. You can smile with tears on your eyes. You can smile even when the whole world takes everything from you. You can smile even when your dad died. You can smile even when everyone hates you, backstabbing you. You can still have that smile. No, you still feel the pain, but you smile. Why? Because you know Jesus. He bears so much than you. He prepared eternal mansion for you. Therefore, whatever comes about, you smile. You smile. You feel fear. You feel fear. Lenga wa e loa Yesu Menga la fe fa kongo e polo le kale si de Salonia first 516 for my rejoice always only only ele au no Kong ka ko fa mo la lo ile tu ile hanga sala ke le le ole la hanga sala ole le oli od Picture myself. I was thinking, I was always known as a happy man. So I want to be, continue to be, to be considered as a happy man. Langa ye came here. I have So when he says, rejoice in the Lord, it speaks of Christ. Being the sphere in whom you will find joy. <laughs> and if I might rejoice in, in your church or rejoice in your pastor, no, he says rejoice in Christ. My first alamo, Sfuluongo Sukasi, my Oilo itu tau matau le oli oli e favavavavu. And everything, guess who's those things for? It's for us. It's for you. 
is for us. Ole oli oli fava vau ele tu tama tau le tua. Lan me kam fele fesha lam fema. Ole oli oli fava vau e moa u. Po ala me kupu fana ole tua. Kako oli oli. Ah, when you feel with joy, less time to point fingers, less time to feel discouraged, less time to be judgmental, less less time to be lazy to read your Bible. E e ke le ava ngoa e ke fai me le le ya le tua. Ma e ngau ngau ya na fionga. Pe ava pe o e stanga te oli oli. E le fiu Paulo o ngole o ngole me sa o ngale mu a yo ngau su. You know we always come across this this pronoun, this address that Paul gave to the Christians. But my finally, my brethren. Just in case you forget of who you are to each other, we are brethren, we are brothers. You know, I always tell you, you don't need to go to school to learn how to love your brother. You just spawn, look at the other man and know he's your brother. You have that love for him. It's natural. Why? Because because you're family. <laughs> Paul, like any good teacher, was never afraid of repetition. Be a la fama Paulo. Kau a kai o kau fiu. Ao au o ke le kai kai o fiu. If I paraphrase what Paul says here, Philippians, maybe you possibility or so, sometimes you you might feel that you're tired of listening, but I will never tired of of telling, of preaching. I say, le anga Paulo le me sa anga le mu o yo to. Paulo le me tu ma o le lo tu le tu a. Paulo le me ka o se lo ku o le lo ku o le a o le la anga ina ai o le fiunga pa i le tu. Pero mo fea ku le ko fe ya lo le me anga. Kako e vai se lo ku ko lo ku ai. I say, le anga le se lo ku le lo tu le fe ya ai le fiunga pa i a le tu a. Me lo lua me mo 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 mi a le falo pe a. Second, e mo mi ale matala. Longo winga au ale moe. Fa mai ya o to i uli, ya o to i e fai nga luenga le anga, ya o to i e ua kata to me inna. Just leave him. Fa mai kala kuspa ia. There's a word here that the Tamon Bible is not translating. I want to tell you that. Fa mai Mai kako kako pointle e mo mi ale matala ai se a inga ia aua ne ai au to e uli ai se a mai ma o ngao mi ale makala ya o ngai ai au to e tai fau e i so that these dogs will not eat you alive what dogs false teacher and Paul be a preacher of the gospel becomes so brutal here he becomes so aggressive wa wa makwa yali yali uma maso le uwa Male mua ulu a Paulo i ile nau nau ta inga e la patai ta ngata ile mela o kupu la mo kupu o iai le kala le lei o filongi iai le kala le lei moni. Paul is real is very very angry here with these false teachers and call them dogs. It's only known to us that Jews always regard to us Gentiles dogs. Here. It's the other way around. <laughs> Paul wants these people, Gentile Christians, to regard these so-called Judaizers, Christian Jews, dogs. And for your knowledge, these dogs is not like Simba. A neat ailele, no fulele. These dogs e a aila pisi, e ukufikia, e ingosia, e stinky. If they eat, they're hungry all the time. That's why most of them all look for something to eat. Or say, or say, have a good fat outlook going on. My little, can pay your mevo ngai hinas le le akavanga le Lion King. If they eat, le le fa kusai Paulo o o o my le le anga fa yo le me anga going on my little fa. If they eat, they let you have a no. Me anga le fa my. Ia 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 kuspeke fa mai o le o lo le la lo langi o lo fe masiai e sue se na te saia o le le o ngatangi a o i o le mai le same thing yeah 
e ka fi ai e le tu o va no that's the enemy of the gospel o ka o nga le ka o ai e e polo fa ya o nga se i but there's a word look for e le fa sa moa i fa mai i a o to oli oli oh verse 2 fa mai i a o to i uli e fa mai beware of the dogs o le pou beware from the Greek, plepo means to see or perceive or to look out. Beware, watch out. I will lay Lord going to my plan. Me will lay for you. I you more finger can. I say, because I come first. I'm more. Yeah, I will lay. I will call my my. But first, I'm more. Watch out. My yeah, yeah. Lapata ina pelto. Watch out for these dogs. You call my kala. Yeah, I will. Ngai me ang ngai will say. I will call my my. Kele me am fa alanga pe o nga le fa sa moa ele o le upunga le fa sa moa lo pou plepo means um be where but in the grammar the word that word is plepete means second person plural and it's present indicative means imperative it's a command to be obeyed and it's the obedience is something that we continuously do every day we live a life of watching out Kako wola le olanga ole ole watch out ole pi where Kako wola le olanga ole va va ai Va va ya va va ai mai le Asia inga ya awonge e mun muli pe aya o ese mai le Sorry I'm just use the word that Paul used here because if I change it's it's not going to get to what Paul wants these people to hear Mai ye o to i u li pi where of the dogs Kolua plepete so so nga ya kolua pi where so so nga my pi where of the dogs ole upule e fa nga e polo ole upunga kunas me nga ele fa ko ele ko nga me lele simba ko nga me le fo nga like hyenas fa pe nga ya ile me le a fa ku sa e polo fa ya o nga se se fa fe a e la o nga le kala le le e le o le kala le le you know, sad to say, too many kunas behind pulpits today. You tell me why I say that and I will tell you. <laughs> and you'll be surprised why I say that. First, I say it because Paul said, and the rest, I will say it when you ask me why I say that. Lua, my polo, I le leto mata. I'm I'm mawale va ailele e ke fa long o pe ma fa long so a va pe o es kanaka ele leila va ai e tu ta fo yonga le leila fa long me ngale fe mai polo o le me sa nga le mu ai o to sa nga le mu mai le a sa nga le mu mai mai le fe ai nei Lono winga ol falong so o ele upole tua ke le le va ngoe tali ai le sua ale mai le ya o e pa ele falong le anga falong o fa ele lancha ka i fa ya le le il falong o fe fe mai le ya o le si o le si ple po ngai nga o le si pi we nga mai i o to i e fa nga lu nga le anga Eleo mai fa pe mai o ma to o e fa inga luenga le anga no they come and do every nice things mostly charitable works they help the poor they help the sick things like that and fool the sheep of God ava fe ngai lo e lo il 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 talito nunga la kat kong wai a ke le lo le se kat kong wai kat kong wai pe a le lo le talito nunga tonu so a wore fi wa onga a wore fi wa long Pisho i o le fai mai polo i i o to fa te te a ili au fai a mi o le anga fai mai pi wea i o to i uli i o to i e fai ngal wea ngal anga i o to i e kata tome ina Paul changed the word there. No le uper tome from the Greek word peri tome means cut around, and here Paul changed the word kata tome means. Cut completely. It always also carries the idea of 
cutting things in pieces with aggressive force, violent force. <laughs> and Paul called them evildoers and those kata to me people. But to destroy you. <laughs> That's what this word means. To cut severely, to cut you into pieces. Family upule fanga ile na ESP mai ta mutilators o tangata la tote ka kipio la ko kingo e fa fia fia ile tua and that's demonic. Makala polo be careful la ulinga e o mai kipiko pau e femi kai e lumo kanga. Ale fe mai ta mutators o inga la fe makala polo yo ka fa keke la ukipi pa. You know kele la ukipi pa o pia in pulpits today. Ele ko mga o mi nga me o kipi nga pa o o man kipi pa o ka ko loko. But still, keep it out today. What I mean is, still people that, that Judaize us, that bring, that try make us keep the law, that make, try to make us Jews. You, you don't have to become a Jew to go to heaven. You can still, as I'm one, and go to heaven through Jesus Christ. You don't need to be circumcised to keep the law, to keep the Sabbath, to go to heaven. Our, our Sabbath, our law keeper is Christ. All you need is Jesus. That's why Jesus said, I am the way, paraphrase, the only way. The truth, paraphrase, the only truth. The life, paraphrase, the only life. No one can get to heaven. No one can get to the Father apart from Jesus. Paulo. <laughs> E e a mai le tala le le esse. Fai ngoi e Paulo false teachers. Tolu and the last is this. Olfa fo ngai mea uma. Olfa fo ale tu alfa fika o le le. O le a. O le lo ale le. No substitute of sound knowledge of the sound doctrine of the word of God. Fai mai. A ua ia te au fo i le fa tua tuanga i la le tinu. A paraphrase my cara Paulo. A caus can a kai kaunga fa moe moe nga luenga kingo a kausiku la fongo o le pelo sa e peru o falseio fa ngau mai kanga ka o yutea kanga ka o le tua. A fe my cara Paulo e le o mea nga. My cara Paulo, I give up those things in order to get Christ. You cannot have the fullness of Christ when you come to Christ and you hold on to the Lord. That's false gospel. That's false gospel. <laughs> the reason why we don't steal, we don't kill, not because of the law was given to us, and because we are saved. We are saved. We live like our Father. Look at verse 8 with me. O le nei fo e moni lava o lo manatu wa le a nga me a uma lava o na o le sili sili e se o le poto i la kiriso Yesu. More than that, I count all things to be loss, or I count all things to be nothing in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. What do you think makes me so keen, so enthusiastic, so? Um, Unstoppable, so liking to do what I'm doing. Because I want you to go to heaven. I want God to be glorified because of your life. I want you to live the freedom that Christ died for you to have. That's why I do what I'm doing. And Savea and the elders do what they're doing. And any pastor in any Christian church do what they're doing. Why? Because they want to see their congregation all go to heaven. All serve God according to His word. They want to see His word be honored and be obedient. <laughs> and be obeyed. Aya. <laughs> Memo mua, o tu ua tu la fono, o tu ua tu maanga, o tu ua le le self righteousness, o ku ua unga luenga. Ele anga unga luenga le 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 anga evi ele tu a ele o me anga e fa mo mo e le alofa mai le tu e kako e alofa mai le tu a unga o Jesus. 
justification lang of ako malay imputation. When God sees me, ileva Isaac kanga kanga salam yo leanga. He sees the righteousness of Christ. He sees Jesus on the cross, and it's the same thing that Jesus sees you. Ileva I know le fa maongi. Ileva I know ang waka kesa ule loko. Ileva I know le fa ikaw kuspaia malo le kakalo. Ileva I know le mo limau. Eva I ay Yesu Kristo ng maliuti ng ayon ng sakalo. Eva I le ame otono ay Yesu. That's why you owe Christ everything. Me ang ale fa may Paulo. I regard those things nothing. The the knowledge of Christ surpasses all those. Silia kula ngai lo kavale, silia kunga lo fale mo fangua, silia kunga ngai lo kanga kamalo ainga. My inheritance, my family inherited for me. Silia kunga ngom me umanga. When you know Christ, that's the attitude you have. Silia kunga ngom me umanga. My Paulo. That time is gone. That time is past. Why? Because of the value of knowing Christ. Do you know Christ? Do you know the true Christ? Do you, do you have that hunger to know Christ? I wish I can have the eternity for that, but nothing. There's no other way to do church. There's no other way to live your life apart from this. For me, Paul, surpassing knowledge, surpassing value of the knowledge of Christ. Ole ole kaua, ole poto, ole loa, le lei o Jesu Christo. That's why we have church. That's why we preach. That's why we have Sunday school. So you can know Christ. It's surpassing any treasure, any value property that you may possess. It it surpasses the value. Of any ambitions that you may have, of any dream, any gift, any dear person in your life, any dear thing in your life, the knowledge of Christ, the value of knowing Christ, surpasses all those. Church, we need more mielo tatu falong pia, more mielo tatu matala, unga mawale ka kurt fo fa fi kauli we lo tunay, la fa fi kauli tala lelei se. Know the truth. Hold on to the truth. Live the truth. Protect the truth. Study the truth. May God bless your soul as you hear His word.